Time to start cutting out my upright supports for redneck golf. So you can see I laid out a nice little decorative radius on the top. This will be one of the horizontals. Let's see, there's another one. And there's the third one. And where the saw is lined up is the base. That will actually meet the ground. So now I'm just going to quickly saw all this stuff out. I've already marked both ends of this piece of wood, so it should go quickly. Okay, I think, since I've got a nice rounded profile here, I'm going to try and knock off as much of this as I can with the chop saw here. The more I cut off here, the less I have to sand off later, so let's see how much we can get. Now it's time to sand off the top of this to make it nice and round. I think I'll hold it in my wedge power vise. Let's see here. <clears throat> it's a little wobbly, but that'll do. Let's see here. Oh, that looks proper. Let's go ahead and change sides. Ah, oh, yes. Now we have a nice rounded top. Okay, time to do the other one. Okay, I am going to sink some holes about halfway through the wood for the three positions where these dowel rods are going to go. Okay, time to make some half laps. I'm going to do what I've done before and just make a series of cuts with the circular saw, break them out, and then plane it off. So here we go. You gotta bust it all out first. Then we'll run the chisel a little just to get rid of any major pieces. There we go. Okay, now it's time to do the same thing for the bottom part. This is going to sit on the ground, make a series of cuts, bust it out, plane it out, chisel, whatever. Anyway, it's time to do the saw. Time to attach the upright to the base. Four little screws, I've got inch and a quarter. That should do fine. Okay, now I need to get rid of the hole that we put into the end of these because I plan to just screw these in to the upright. So I'm gonna knock off hmm, maybe two inches of each of these. Okay, so each of my dowel rods have been marked from the end to here, two feet plus an inch and a half. The inch and a half is to go into the two pockets 
that are in the uprights, the two three quarter inch pockets. So, yeah, it's a little ragged. I need to sand these down yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these all to length. Well, let's see, to make it easier, I'm gonna flip them around. There we go. Now let's chop them all to length. Okay, I'm going to drill some holes into the ends of these so that uh, I don't split them out with these screws when I go to screw them in. And I have a larger diameter drill bit for the uprights, so it'll be a clearance hole. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a bunch of drilling. All i got to do is try and keep this in the center and nice and straight. Okay, now we're going to drill some clearance holes for those screws right in the divots left behind by the hole saw thing. Okay, let's see if we can attach the first dowel rod. I've already pushed the screws through, and remember this is a clearance hole. This should be a hole barely big enough for the threads not to crack the wood. So, i going to try and hold all this together as I start this in there. Okay, here we go. Hmm. This dowel rod's a bit tight. There we go. Now let's try that again. Okay, let's see if we can attach the other side without this whole conglomeration trying to fall apart. Let's see, we will do the top one first for the sake of stability. And I think I will just start each of these. There we have the first one. Had three points. Oh, bad. Yellow's turned. 